SME for large scale projects, which they work with other agencies. And again, this needs to be changed, right? Because um, I spoke about the private sector before. Mm -hmm. There is no reason why the um, environmental, the green fund legislation cannot be changed to include uh, something like an, uh, a private sector advisory board or advisory committee out to the TTMA or Chamber of Commerce, whatever, or, uh, or a joint program, where uh, private sector companies who want to engage in um, sustainable projects and so on can have access to, to some part of the funds, because after all, they are paying into it. They have the resources, they have the, 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 the efficiency and so on to, to get things done. They have, you know, generally speaking, less red tape and bureaucracy. And, um, you know, uh, to me, if I wanted to get something done, I'd go to the private sector and say, hey, look, go to, this is some access to some funds, go ahead and, and do a project. So what you have is concurrent projects happening together from the community side and from the private sector side. So I think, I think that needs to be changed as well. Another thing that needs to be changed is that Trinidad also, and again, it's showing how many things that we do have and how we don't utilize it properly. Um, another, Trinidad is also signatory to a lot of uh, multilateral environmental agreements. So you would hear things like the UNFCC, um, you know, all the, well, the, all the UN agencies, um, things like the Basel Convention, um, you know, the Stockholm Convention. But what happens is that, so we send people, usually a minister or a PS or so on, to these meetings, and then they come back, and nobody knows where people, where the rest of the world has reached in terms of meeting these agreements, um, how, how, what, were, what, what, were, what did Trinidad sign on to last time we went to these meetings? So it's a big gulf of, of, of non-information. And, um, and again, the executing body is the EME. But then while we were there, we didn't know what was going on either. So it is very difficult. And again, it comes to this whole coordination and collaboration issue. Um, and this non-sharing of information. And um, that's, again, to me, from a higher level, one of the, some of the key, the, the key reasons as to why um, we don't work properly in terms of, 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 uh, of sustainability. And of course, from the highest perspective, when you decide on your strategic plan as a country or your budget or a development plan or whatever have you, um, you have to decide whether or not you are going to, you're going to have a sustainable economy. Because if you're going to depend on oil and gas, then your economy is not going to be sustainable. So you have to say, okay, well, 50% will be oil and gas, 50% will be alternatives, and then you create downstream industries, right? Mm -hmm. So again, it has to come from the top, which a lot of countries have done like Guyana. Um, from a more local level, I think, um, well, I think everybody can see um, what the problem is. We are not a very clean, no, I wouldn't say clean, <laughs> but uh, we somehow, sometimes have a problem with disposal <laughs> of waste. Sorry, nice way to put that. <laughs> <laughs> disposal of waste. And I don't know why that is, because it's like, it, it, maybe there's lack of bins or we don't, or maybe because we don't have legislation to support uh, a recycling program, or we're not ingrained to recycle, or, or but I mean that 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 uh, is one of the biggest problems I think as well, and we see it, we see it all the time, and I always remember going to Manzanilla Beach and seeing people um, put their garbage in a garbage bag and then hang the garbage bag on a tree. So um, there's <laughs> always uh, somebody else to, to, to look after us. And, um, and I think a lot of public education money, even while I was at the EME, was spent with children and youths and so on. And it hasn't seemed to transfer into action All right. so far. Ms. Miraj, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure chatting with you. Same to you as well. All right. <laughs>